In this episode, we'll take a look at the VLOV from Deity Microphones. So what's special about the VLOV? First of all, it's a $50 lavalier microphone, so something you can wear on your lapel or perhaps hidden under a shirt. It has a 3.5 millimeter connector, which works with cameras, audio recorders, mobile phones, and even Macs and PCs. It intelligently figures out what it's connected to and configures itself to work with that device. If you wanna see a list of compatible devices, we'll put a link for that down below. First off, let's get you a couple of sound samples. Here's a sample recording with the Deity VLOV. It's attached to me just here. And then this is running into a Panasonic GH5 into its microphone input. The input level is set to minus 12. And this microphone is actually a little on the hot side. That is to say its output signal is fairly strong. I would recommend turning the limiter on. Now, this is an audio sample that has not been processed at all, aside to loudness normalize it to minus 23 LUFS. And let's give you a little sample here of some silence in our basement studio where we don't have a lot going on. All right, here's a sample outdoors. Uh, this time I have the wind cover on. See if you can see that. And uh, we're shooting into an iPhone XS Max and we have a little bit of a breeze out my back. Uh, I wonder what happens when we turn around. Now the wind is blowing up against us, so that may give you a sense for how well that works in the wind. Uh, behind us we have a, an interstate and over here we have a road. The car just went by. And of course we have some birds chirping as the sun sets here. Give you a sense for how much of the ambiance this will pick up. Like most lavalier microphones, this has an omnidirectional polar pattern, which means it picks up sound from all sides. However, when you're wearing it, your body kind of acts as a shield, so it's not gonna pick up as much of the sound from behind. So in a way, it sort of acts like a directional microphone. It uses two LR41 button batteries. These are basically watch batteries, which are spec to last up to 800 hours. And they are only used when the microphone is first connected to a device to figure out what it's connected to and how to configure itself. Once it's done that, it turns itself off. So those batteries should last a long, long time. I haven't had it for 800 hours, so I can't confirm that. It comes with the microphone itself, of course, a fur windshield, a pouch, foam windscreen, alligator clip, and the two LR41 batteries that you'll need. In terms of self-noise generated by the microphone and the recorder, whatever that may be, we did a very practical test here where I'm working in my very quiet studio basement. I have sound blankets hanging on three sides. What we did is we measured a silent portion of a little recording I did, so I set the input level so that the recording was peaking with peak somewhere around minus 12 dB. I then loudness normalized that to minus 23 in post in Adobe Audition, and I measured the silent portion, which came out at minus 64 dB, which is okay. But what I found was most of that noise floor was actually really low frequency rumble. So when we added a high pass at 65 Hertz, I put the noise floor at minus 68 dB full scale, which is actually really quite good. Probably the most popular competitor to this microphone is the Rode SmartLav. Let's give you a sample of each of those. First off, here's a sample with the Deity VLOV. Here's a sample with the Rode SmartLav Plus, which again is attached to my chest just here. It is attached to me just on my chest here. <laughs> and we have the input level set to 65 out of 100 on the Zoom H1, to which we're recording the audio here. And in this case, we also have the input level on the Zoom H1 set to 65 out of 100. Overall, this is what this sounds like relative to the Deity VLOV. The cable on the VLOV is five meters long, which is about 16 and a half feet. And it also comes with this Velcro wrap so that you can manage it and you're gonna to need to manage it if you're not running it to your camera. But the nice thing about this is it allows you to run it to the camera to do a talking headshot like this if you wanted to do that. Or if you're going to use it with another recorder, like in this case here, I'm recording with a Zoom H1, the original H1. And you can see I have it sort of wound up and secured with the Velcro tie. As I mentioned at the start, this runs $50 US at the time of this review, which seems like a reasonable price for a quality microphone. Now, I can't test every single recording device out there, but what I can say for those I know some people are going to ask, I have a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Does it work with that? The answer is yes, if you use a TRRS to TRS adapter. However, I wouldn't recommend it. The 
3.5 millimeter mic input on the Pocket 4K is not all that great. And basically to get the peak somewhere around minus 18, I had to turn the input level all the way up to 100. And then when we measured that in post, the noise floor set closer to minus 61. So that's a little bit on the noisy side using the same methodology that I used for the other practical self noise tests. So that really wouldn't be an ideal scenario if you're wondering about that combination. And finally, the microphone comes with a one year warranty, which you can extend to 18 months if you register at the Deity website. Now, no device is perfect and every device has some cons, <laughs> most likely. And in this case, I didn't find any serious flaws, but here are a couple of nitpicky items. Number one, while that long cable can be really convenient, it can also be kind of a nuisance to manage. Fortunately, they provide the Velcro tie with the microphone, so that can help a little bit, but it can be a little bit difficult to manage. And especially if you're not using it to run it to a camera, maybe five or six feet away. The microphone head is relatively large, so it's a little difficult to hide under clothing. And you must remove the mic grill to invert the alligator clip or remove it altogether if you're gonna hide it under your clothing. The plug does not have a locking nut. And the fur wind cover that it comes with is white, which really, really stands out unless the talent is wearing something white. As I said, those are a little bit on the nitpicky side, but overall, there's a look at the Deity VLOV, which seems like a really good buy for $50. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And if you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. Talk to you soon.